What's going on guys? So y'all talk to me and I listen. I've been getting a lot of questions about nutrition, a lot of questions about supplements, a lot of questions about my diet, et cetera, et cetera. And these are all very valid questions. So when it comes to body transformation and how it changes your body, it's about 70% diet and nutrition and 30% working out. So 70% is a big deal. So these are all good questions that I'm gonna answer. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys my body fat percentage. We're gonna go to the Nutri Shop. Uh, the Nutri Shop is a shop here in the Woodlands. It's, they have a machine called Bioelectrical Impedance and I'll talk more about what that is later. But we're gonna do that. We're gonna see what the results of a good diet and good nutrition will do for your body. And then we're gonna go grocery shopping. And I'm gonna show you guys the staples that I have in my diet, what I avoid, what I don't. And it's gonna be good, so let's do it. All right, guys, so here at the Nutri Shop, about to get my body fat percentage tested. The way we're gonna do that is through a process called bioelectrical impedance. I know you're asking what is bioelectrical impedance, so let's go inside and find out. All right, guys, so bioelectrical impedance is a common method of measuring body composition and body fat percentage. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. Some devices are handheld and some are more complex. The one I'm gonna to do today is called N-Body 370. It's a very complex machine. I think it costs around $5,000 to $6,000, so it's legit. So we're gonna do that, I'm gonna jump on it and see where my body fat percentage is at, and it's gonna be good, let's do it. All right, guys, so here's the bioelectrical impedance machine right here. So it's a very simple process. All I'm gonna do is stand on it and grab the two handles. From there, it's gonna send currents through my body that are gonna go out the exit point. After that's finished, it's gonna give me very useful information. I'm excited to see my body fat percentage and my lean muscle mass ratio. All bioelectrical impedance devices operate by sending a small electrical current through fluid, which in the human body is body water. The current enters and exits via electrodes that come into contact with the skin. As the current travels throughout your body water, it encounters muscle cells, fat cells, skin cells, etc. Each of these has a certain ability to oppose the current slightly as it travels on its path towards the exit point. Once the current finally reaches its end point, it will have lost some of its voltage on the journey through body water. From here, impedance is determined. Bioelectrical impedance devices take impedance values and translate them into useful information that people can readily understand, like body fat percentage and lean body mass. Alright guys, so just got my results. There's a couple things we'll look at. Alright, so first, weight, 162 pounds. I'm 5'10". Alright, so percent body fat, 6.7%. Okay. Next thing, basal metabolic rate, 1,851 kilocalories. And last thing, skeletal muscle mass, 88 pounds. Okay, so a couple of important numbers on this paper that we'll look at. First one is basal metabolic rate. Basal metabolic rate is how much energy your body burns in a 24 hour period. So if you were to just sit in a chair for 24 hours, your body would burn 1,000, my body would burn 1,851 kilocalories. So knowing that number, what, whatever my goals are, if I'm trying to gain weight or if I'm trying to lose weight, I can adjust my eating around that. So if my body's burning 1,851 kilocalories and I expend 2,000 calories, now I'm gonna be at around a 200 calorie deficit. So that number is really important to look at. A lot of people, they eat way more than they need to and they wonder why they're not losing weight. And a lot of people that are trying to gain eat way less than they need to. So looking at our basal metabolic rate and then factoring in exercise and factoring in all the movements we do throughout the day, we can really start to look at, you know, what we should be eating. Yeah. So the way that we can influence the metabolic rate, the more lean muscle you have, the more energy your body needs. So that's why we do strength training, we gain muscle and we decrease our body fat. A lot of people, they get stuck up on the number. They get stuck up on how much they weigh and that's not important. What matters is your body composition. So my skeletal muscle mass is 88 pounds. So that's 88 pounds of muscle on me, then water, then 6.7% body fat. So the important thing is not to look at the number, not look at how much we weigh, but actually look at those numbers, look at our body composition. Right? So we wanna increase muscle and lower our body fat percentage. When we increase muscle, our basal metabolic rate goes up, our body starts working more for us. Macronutrients. So macronutrients are something that I've done in the past. So it all comes down to what your individual body needs. So somebody might need this, somebody might have more muscle, they might have more energy to mend. So looking at macronutrients, we can look at the actual protein, fats, and carbohydrates that we individually need. So that's super important. So now knowing all this information, let's go grocery shopping. Let's look at some good foods that I eat. Let's look at what to avoid. And I'm gonna show you guys that nutrition can be very simple and very easy. All right guys, so after the Nutri Shop, I wanted to talk a little bit about my physique and tell you guys a little bit about me. So for one, I'm not a physique competitor and I'm not a bodybuilder and I probably never will be. The reason why I trained is not for aesthetics. I consider myself an all around athlete, so I train for functionality and strength. So if you see me guys competing, it's not gonna be in a bodybuilding competition. And not because I don't like bodybuilding, it's just 
not what interests me. For me, I've always been an athlete. So growing up, I played sports, played sports my whole life. So if you see me competing, it'll be in something like a jiu-jitsu tournament, some grappling, a powerlifting competition, and of course, calcinous competitions. So Battle of the Bars, that's a calcinous competition. That's what got me into calcinous, and that's what inspired me. So I would love to compete in one of those one day. That would be amazing. And I will someday. All right, guys. So now back on the subject of my physique. A lot of people ask me, they say, what protein do you take? What pre-workout do you take? What supplements do you take? And the answer to that is zero. I don't take any outside supplements. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with outside supplements because there's not. All it is is a substitute for real food. So for those people that maybe they don't have access to all the healthy foods they need, maybe they're living in a house where they don't have access to things they need, supplements are fine. But me personally, I don't want any outside variable to be the reason that I did something. I'll hear people say all the time that they can't work out without pre-workout. They don't have any energy without pre-workout and to me that makes no sense. Why would you want to be reliant on something when all it takes is for you to work harder? Me, I just rather work harder for something. So no pre-workout, no protein. You can get all of that stuff from real food. So to build muscle, you don't need a crazy amount of supplements. All you need to do is maybe work a little bit harder. And so that's what I do. So to all those people that they can't work out with pre-workout or they need this supplement, they need this fat burner, to me, they just created a mental crutch inside of their head. They're saying that they're not able to do this if they don't have this, and I don't want to be their way. I don't want to be dependent on anything. Some people have created a mental crutch for themselves with coffee. They say that they can't start their morning without coffee, and to me, that doesn't make sense. Maybe I'll be, I don't drink coffee personally. Maybe I'll be a little more tired, but that just makes me focus more and that just makes me work harder. Even I, I didn't start out on this, this level that I'm in now. I started out playing Xbox for hours and hours and hours a day, eating, drinking six sodas, eating a whole bag of Cheetos, and I just decided it was time. I decided I needed to take action, and I changed my thinking. So when you change your mindset, when you change your thinking, that's when things start to turn around for you. So that's my stance about supplements. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. If you're a bodybuilder and you need everything to be strict and precise, then take supplements all you want. But me just being who I am, me being an athlete, and for anybody casual, you don't need a crazy amount of supplements, not to mention it's a lot of money. So there's my little rant on supplements. Me, I just, I wanna be mentally tough. I wanna be mentally strong. And for those people that use supplements as crutches and say they can't do this without pre-workout or they have to have this, it's just, it's not how you should be. So that's my rant on supplements. Now we're gonna go grocery shopping and I'll show you guys some gains.